Hello, Grandma DC here. I'm driving home from work this morning. The sun is shining, but I see snow clouds in the distance. Uh, it's not supposed to snow, but it is supposed to get colder than cold and uh, stay that way until later in the week and maybe snow on Friday. I don't know. My client was clapping and screaming at the television so loud I couldn't hear the weather this morning. Oh, the sun went behind a cloud. I'm a little down, ladies, this morning and people. I tell you, I hadn't weighed in two weeks. And I really thought I was having those uh, NSV, as some girls call them, non-scale victories. I love that. And I um, thought my face was getting thinner. My pants were falling off. I'm like, you know, hey, I must have really made a you know, big drop, maybe five pounds, right? It's been about two weeks since I weighed. So I went and weighed, and I weighed 61. I mean, I had been 59 point and a half, so I was up a pound and a half, but I mean, you know, that's clothes or whatever. I was wearing light clothes last night, though. So, keto diet is not, I keep saying it, it's not a fast or massive weight loss, at least for, I think, women in menopause doesn't seem to be working for me not real fast I mean I like all the other benefits as we've discussed but you know when you don't get lighter and I know everyone says oh yeah but you're looking thinner well how is that scientifically possible I mean how is it possible for me to be shrinking and getting heavier unless I'm turning into a chunk of gold thank you I'm becoming golden that's right, you're not old, you're gold. Oh, man. <laughs> More like a chunk of Galena. I think that has no value. I'm in a bumming mood this morning. I'm sorry. It's just, I don't know, it's the holidays. You know, they get me down. They get a lot of people down. I used to just love the holidays. It was my husband's favorite time of the year. We were sickening together, you know. He would pretend to be bah humbug, but he decorated the house from head to toe. I've even got lights out in front of my house, and I'm bah humbugging. I put lights out in front of my client's house last night. I love solar lights. Big recommend for solar Christmas lights. And, I mean, they're not as bright. They don't last as long into the night, but they shut themselves off, and it's free electricity, so I'd coat a house in them. Well... I keep wondering, where is all this traffic coming from? Look at this guy passing me. I am doing the speed limit, by the way, dead on, and I'm getting passed. So, I've had about 10 cars pass me. Oh, it's a Lowe's truck. Oh, no wonder he's in a hurry because he's getting paid by the hour. You know, when the weather's bad, and it's snowing and icing, I can drive this road at the same time every night and every morning. And when the weather's bad, there's no traffic out here at all. But when the weather's pretty good, like this morning's cold, but okay, it's just car after car after car after car. Well, why don't you people stay home all the rest of the time? I don't want to share my road with you. Oh, that's how cranky I'm being this morning. I'm not usually like this, girls. What is it? I would say the wrong time of the month, but that don't happen anymore. Some people say it continues to happen, but I just think that's an excuse to have a bad mood once a month. I have to tell you, though, on my mind today is pizza. And I don't want keto pizza. I want stuffed crust, gooey, sweet, yeasty, carbohydrate -y pizza. And I know it'd make me sick. It'd make me feel awful. Nauseated, sleepy, nasty sweaty I'm talking myself out of it I'm gonna go home the worst thing is I don't have anything quick fix so that always becomes a problem on the keto diet if you don't have like slices of lunch meat or something that is quick that you can just have ready and eat that's always more of a temptation to do something quick that's carby and I oh I love <laughs> Pinky and Selena's I love those girls they were uh, showing how to 
try to keto eat at a gas station. Well, Dolly's, I've been through the same thing. And you look through there and it's like even the Slim Jims have really high carbs for the little bit you get. So, I don't know. I told you I went over to Mom's the other day. She was doing cookies. She must have had nine different kinds of cookies. I had to leave. It's not that, you know, I mean, I wasn't having that super nagging, I got to have them like I used to. But there was a certain part of my brain that was going, hey, it's Christmas time. What the heck? I think there was an article on uh, the internet and it said, uh, go ahead and eat over the holidays. Don't stress yourself. And I thought, you know what? If I started eating carbohydrates over the holidays, not only would I gain pack the 19 pounds or so I've lost over the last four months, but I would put myself right back into that insanity of I I need it. I've got to have it. I can't I can't not I can't live without carbs. And I finally got that broke after four months, three or four months. But if I just go all out, that's going to come back, and it is. It's like going through withdrawals to get rid of it again so I don't know I'm gonna head on home here I may vlog when I get home if I can get myself in a better mood I need to do something uh, maybe I'll stop by and see mom I don't know okay bye bye